Are you obsessed with Pomeranians and want to get one for yourself, but you're not sure if this is the right breed for you? Well, this video will help you make that important decision. Okay, so the first characteristic of Pomeranian is they are very small. Most of adult Poms are between 3 to 7 pounds according to AKC standards of Pomeranians. By the way, I explained why you should stay away from breeders that advertise their Pom puppies as teacup Pomeranians in another video, which I will leave a link in the description. So the pros of their size is that first, they don't require a lot of space. And you don't need a big house with a big backyard in order to own a Pomeranian. So even if you live in a small apartment in New York like I do, you can still get a palm as long as you make sure you give them enough daily exercise and mental stimulation. Second, they can easily travel with you almost anywhere, including flying in the same cabin with you just right under your seat. Also, since they are so small, they eat a lot less and they can potentially cost less. The cons of their small size are, first of all, they are very fragile and prone to injury. Palms are very prone to knee and hip problems such as patellarization basically means that their knees slip out of place is the most common problem in Pomeranian and it's graded on a scale of 1 to 4 depending on the severity of the clinical signs with grade 1 and 2 being quite common in this breed and then if it gets more serious and it falls into grade 3 and 4 then your palm might need a surgery and just a small accident such as falling down from the stairs or furniture can risk exacerbating an existing problem so you have to either supervise your palm very closely or block their access to certain areas of the house to make sure they don't jump up and down from steep stairs or run around on a slippery floor and risk dislocating the knee. Having a small dog means you have to pay more attention to them and take more preventative measures to make sure they are safe. So it does take some extra work. Palms are very cute because of their size but unfortunately they can easily get hurt also because of that. They can get hurt when playing it's a bit too rough with children who don't quite know how to be gentle around animals yet. They can also get injured when playing with a big dog who doesn't know how to adjust their playing style when being around smaller dogs. Since they are so small, people on the street can also accidentally step on them, especially if you live in a crowded city like I do because sometimes they don't even know there's a person walking next to them if they don't pay attention, let alone just a small dog. So again, you have to supervise them very closely when taking them on a walk and also pay extra attention when they play with bigger dogs as the other dog may unintentionally hurt them because of their difference in size. Palms also need to pee more often than bigger dog given the small bladder. If you're using wee wee pot, it's probably not a big deal for you. However, if you only let them do their business strictly outside your house, you'll have to take them out more often. So make sure your schedule allows that or you can arrange dog walkers and dog sitters to take care of them when you're not home. The second fact is that they are very fluffy and cute. We can't argue on that. And they're pros are. First, they are very cute. So sometimes you get special treatments just because of how cute they are. I remember this one time I went to the airport with Sissy by myself and lots of luggages. The security line was very long but the staff told me to come over to another gate and help me carrying all my stuff to the airport baggage scanner. It was the most effortless experience at the airport in my life with zero wait time thanks to my Pomeranian. Your palm will also get you many new connections as people will stop by to say hi to your palm all the time and some of them can be surprisingly interesting people. So you know if you kind of shy to approach new people your palm can be a great wingman as they are just people magnet. Trust me. Well depending on your personality and whether or not you enjoy talking to strangers, this might should be a con for some of you. Second, they will make you smile just by looking at them. A palm will brighten your day for sure, no matter how difficult your day's been. When you come home and look at them wagging their tails and looking at you with their biggest happiest smile on earth, it will make all your worries go away, well at least temporarily in that moment. However, because of how fluffy and cute they are, Pomeranians are very prone to behavioral problems. People are much more likely to tolerate behaviors that are often found unacceptable in other dogs such as jumping, begging for food, or barking because of their look. For example, if a big dog jumps on you, there's a risk that they might knock you over and it can be quite scary at times for some people. So most people will push them off or simply ignore them so that the behavior isn't reinforced. However, if a palm jumps on you to let's say beg for the chicken that you are holding in your hand or simply for your affection, people will often go like, oh my god, it's so cute, talking in high-pitched voice which is often perceived as positive by dogs and then pet them which is essentially rewarding their bad behaviors and some will even give them a piece of the food that they are eating because their begging face is just so cute they can't resist it. Not realizing that if you reward their bad behavior even just for once that behavior will persist and that's why palms are very prone to barking and jumping and begging for food because people are more likely to either let it go or even encourage it when a palm barks and jumps than when a bigger dog does the same thing. Palms often have a bad rap 
up for their spoiled behaviors. But most people don't realize that how a palm turns out depends a lot on the human. So if the owner is experienced, loving, but disciplined at the same time, and do not let their bad behaviors slip away, they have the potential to be one of the most well-behaved dogs in the world, given how smart they are. The second concept of their fluffy look is that they shared. So many people told me that they love Pomeranians so much that they would totally get one if they don't shed. One of the most common questions that I receive is do they shed a lot? And I feel like a lot of the times people ask me this question to try to get a no from me because they want a palm so bad but all the sources just keep saying that palms shed a lot and they are not ready to deal with that. And I'm sorry because what I want to say is probably not the answer you want to hear but the truth is Pomeranians do shed and if you have a Pomeranian you have to accept the fact that their fur will be everywhere in your house, it will stick to all your clothes and that you need to always have a good lean roller handy and also vacuum your house pretty frequently because of that. So the third con kind of goes hand in hand with a previous con since palms have a double coat and tend to shed excessively around twice a year and moderately for the remainder of the year, you need to brush their coat more frequently compared to other dogs to remove dead hair and reduce shedding. Generally speaking, you should try your best to brush their fur every day during heavy shedding seasons and once every few days for the rest of the year. Brushing is essential to keeping their coat healthy and fluffy. Prevent their hair from getting matted, remove dead hair, and avoid skin allergies. I have a video showing you how to groom your Pomeranian at home, including how to brush your Pomeranian that you can check it out by clicking on the link in the description below. So yeah, depending on your work schedule, how busy you are, and whether or not you have someone else in your family that is willing to help taking care of your Pomeranian, this can get pretty tedious and overwhelming at times for some of you, and it's one of the main things that you have to look at when considering a palm. So you know, just ask yourself if you're ready to do those things on a pretty frequent basis. The third fact is that Pomeranian is descended from larger speeds type dog. The good thing about that is that they are very alert dogs that are super sensitive to any movement and they can make great watchdogs and warn you about any potential danger. The problem with that, however, is that they are very prone to alert barking. And they have a high tendency to bark at the door or strangers come into your house. This is probably the most common reason why Pomeranians bark and I plan to do a video on how to deal with alert barking. Finally, Pomeranians are very smart. In fact, they rank 23rd in Stanley Corrin's The Intelligence of Dogs. The benefit is that it makes it very easy to train Pomeranians different obedience commands and cool tricks if you know how to do it correctly right from the beginning. Or if you don't, you can also find someone else to help you with that. I have lots of free training videos on my channel to help you train your Pomeranian. I'm also a certified dog trainer in New York, so you can also email me to inquire about in-person private training sections of my board and train service once you have your palm puppy. So the drawback is that sometimes it can work against you since they are so smart that they are also very good at manipulating you into getting them what they want and knowing exactly which button to push you and they are often very stubborn and determined to achieve their goal which is why they are also so prone to demand barking. So you know if you have a palm and if you're not strong enough to stay disciplined and stand your ground, chances are you you're gonna end up with a very spoiled Pomeranian that barks to get what they want. Comment below if you want me to do a video on how to get rid of demand barking. The way you deal with demand barking will be completely different from the way you deal with alert barking. Alright, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Goodbye and I will see you soon.